Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Acer Nitro i5 and NVIDIA graphics. The problem with this one is that, let's see the customer email. So what the customer is saying, laptop is dead and battery not charging. Battery completely dead. Laptop is dead and battery not charging. I will say, uh, let's not plug the power in, let's just... Uh, Open the laptop and check inside first. Okay, and the laptop, it's open. Oh, the screws are not in place, okay. Let's unplug the battery. And let's check first the main power rail, and it's very easy to check because you have the charging port, first MOSFET, second MOSFET. Here has some tape, and then we have the current sensor there. Let's check together. So on the current sensor, and it's not short to ground. Lol. Huh? Okay. You know what I want to check before I take out the heat scene? Let's check the chipset. So this is good. This is good. And this is good. So why why this laptop died then? I mean everything seems to be fine. Let's take the heat sink out, but I'm surprised uh, the motherboard is not shorted. Okay, so the heat sink is out. Now let's check a few more things, like this coil, fine. This one fine, this one fine, and the CPU. Everything seems to be fine, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug the battery back and plug the charger, the power supply. So plug in the charger, and the laptop is not charging. Okay, let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail is zero volts. Huh? On the first MOSFET is 19.8. The output of the first MOSFET is zero. So why is that? Hmm? Let's check the first two MOSFETs. So we have the first MOSFET and it's good. And the second MOSFET and it's zero ohms. You can see on the screen. Wow, kind of unexpected. So one more time, the second MOSFET, shorted. You know what? You won't believe it, yeah? But I just post, like today. So this video was posted today, which uh, you will fix over 50% of the laptops checking this. We're actually checking the first two MOSFETs. And exactly like on that video, yeah? Exactly like there, even on this gaming laptop, the second MOSFET, it is shorted. You see exactly what I told you, exactly what I told you. Let's remove the second MOSFET. I'm gonna use some Capton tape over those capacitors, just to be sure uh, we are not melting them. And the second MOSFET is removed. Now let's get a MOSFET from a spare board. Remember I told you the 
MOSFETs uh, like on the any power supply are channel N. So we need a channel N MOSFET there. So we got a MOSFET. And the MOSFET has to be here. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. So the MOSFET is soldered on place. Now the question is, it will work, that was the only problem with this uh, gaming laptop. Mm -hmm. Let me cool down the board a little bit. And let's see, the first sign, it will be the charging sign, yeah? If it's charging means we fix it let's see so plug in the charger ten milliamps thirteen milliamps fourteen fifteen so this is the pre-charge current and the current has to jump with to over one amp Can we hold the battery with the pre-charged current? Yeah, we can. Uh, what we need... Just a little bit of current here. And we are charging the battery with 2 amps, you can see. And now the laptop is charging with 1.3 amps. Now let's see, it is coming on, I'm curious, so pressing the power button, wait, it is coming on, wait, I don't have heatsink, one second, I don't have heatsink, it is coming on, can't believe, Okay, this thermal paste is kind of dry, yeah? So let's clean the thermal paste. And apply a new thermal paste. Perfect, and perfect. You see exactly what I told you, most of the problems, they are on the input circuit, where you have two MOSFETs. What I didn't say in the video is, even USB-C, you have, okay, you have the PD controller, but still, you can also have the uh, two MOSFETs. Many laptops, you have the PD controller, and the PD controller is actually the driver of the first two MOSFETs, like on this case. Good, so the heatsink is on place. Let's uh, plug the fans. Yeah, we don't need Wi-Fi, we need the screen. The screen connector. A little bit older, but it's still good. Okay, let me raise the current on the power supply. Yeah, 4.7 amps. So plug in the charger. 1.3 amps, so the charging current is present. Now let's press the power button. Pressing the power button. The fans are spinning. Check here, yeah. 2.9 amps.
Yeah, my focus is crazy. Let's see if we have picture. Yeah, the power supply is getting disconnected. I don't have enough current here. We should be fine. The laptop is restarting, probably someone re reset the BIOS. Where is the picture? Why we don't have picture? What? I seen something? No. Hey, sir! It's no hard drive inside. No bootable device. We have picture, I can't believe. So it's working fine. But of course, the customer probably took out the, the hard drive. It's working fine. Exactly what I told you. So again, what was the issue? The second MOSFET, which is part of the... Uh, power input circuit. Yeah, same like on the other. You, you remember the the Toshiba, the old Toshiba, the 15 years old Toshiba. First MOSFET, second MOSFET, and then you have the current sensor there. Exactly the same on the gates. You should have 25. Uh, those are channel uh, and MOSFETs. Same story. Exactly the same. Perfect. So this laptop is ready to go back to the customer. I'm happy I help him. So I'm going to stop now. I will say, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video, like, like usual. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.